Why, brothers and sisters, you may ask, is there a feast dedicated to the human heart of Jesus? There's so many different tangents I could go off on, but I wish to focus simply on the significance of Jesus' heart and its link to the Eucharist. Pope St. John the 23rd writes in his journal, Every time I hear anyone speak of the sacred heart of Jesus or of the Blessed Sacrament, I feel an indescribable joy. These are the loving appeals from Jesus, who wants me wholeheartedly there at the source of all goodness, his sacred heart, throbbing mysteriously behind the Eucharistic veils. Did you hear that? Pope John wrote that the Eucharist is the sacred heart of Jesus. Elsewhere in the same journal he wrote, It is to the heart of Jesus that I must look for a solution of all my troubles. I want the devotion to his heart, concealed within the sacrament of love, to be the measure of my spiritual progress. Let's now rewind the clock 1200 years. In the 8th century in Lanciano in Italy, a priest who didn't believe in transubstantiation while celebrating Mass, found the bread and wine mysteriously changed before his eyes into flesh and blood at the consecration. One can still visit Lanciano, as I have, to observe and adore the remnants of the body and blood of Christ from that Mass. In 1970-71, and then confirmed in 1981, a study under Pope Paul VI revealed the host to be of human flesh, the structure of the myocardium, heart wall, and the endocardium, the membrane of fibrous elastic tissue lining or the cardiac cavities. The blood was also of human origin, type AB. Brothers and sisters, the tests revealed that the 1200 plus year old consecrated Eucharist was a slice through a human heart, the most sacred heart of Jesus. In the gospel for the solemnity of the sacred heart, we hear how Jesus is pierced in his side through his heart from which emanates blood, representing the Eucharistic sacrifice, and water, representing the sacrament of baptism. When a priest consecrates and lifts up the host at Mass, like those present at Calvary, I invite you to look on the one whom they have pierced, one who not only loves you with all his heart, but as a sign of that love, he truly gives you a slice of his most sacred heart and his blood from that same loving heart to forgive, cleanse, console and strengthen you.